Russian President Vladimir Putin, speaking in February with a message to Federal Assembly, thanked the Russians for supporting the so-called special military operation. Our multinational people of the West, majority of citizens, have taken a principled position regarding the special military operation, understood the meaning of the actions we are taking, and supported our actions to protect Donbass. Vladimir Putin, President of Russia, from the President's address to the Federal Assembly. Natalia Forat, a sociologist with Russian roots, believes that support for the regime in Russia is shown not only by those who received something from it, but also by those who got nothing. Moreover, they were forced to fight, thrown without training and equipment to the slaughter, but it is still right and it is necessary to help rather than oppose. The state is the parent that beats you. You are attached to it. You cannot live without it. It will be even worse without it. Now, if you are thrown into the street, where will you go? Your daily life will suddenly become very unsettled and very incomprehensible. At the same time, you understand that the state does not act in your interests. Natalia Forat, PhD at the Northwestern University Chicago, in an interview with Novaya Gazeta Europe. The authorities need the illusion of the majority, because it is much easier to manage people this way, Russian sociologist Alexei Minailo believes. In an interview with the BBC, he recalls Ash experiment, testing the reaction of the subject to the erroneous behavior of the majority, which showed that up to 40% of people will join the majority, even when this majority is obviously wrong. And polls and these letters that rallies, they are in fact needed to create the illusion of a majority, which allows you to make sure that people will not oppose. People of other views, different from the views of the majority, decide, well, I'm almost alone, or there are 100,000 of us in the whole country. Alexey Minayo, sociologist, in an interview with BBC. As a result, doubters and people of views that differ from the opinion of the illusory majority decide to keep a low profile. For example, one of the recent polls conducted by the independent telegram channel SOTA about the arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin showed that the majority do not have a clear position. People simply do not understand what is happening and prefer to remain silent. Is there a threat now to Russian President Vladimir Putin in connection with this warrant or not? I can't judge. I'm not the ICC. We're not the ICC. Well, probably not. But the president is accused of kidnapping children. I don't know. They issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin. How do you feel about this? Absolutely. I think that in general everyone should be punished. Who in general everyone? It's just members of United Russia. Well, everything is clear to varying degrees, yes. The most important ones there, you know how the terms are there. Who has a higher, who something is lower. Someone is generally removed from some kind of political activity. The Russian opposition leader Andrei Sidelnikov explains the reason why the Russians are so supportive of the government by the action of propaganda which has reached incredible proportions under Putin. The state is well aware that a population that does not think, that does not show initiative is easier to manage. So that's where all these things come from. A person thinks that I am small, it is impossible to fight against the system, especially since since the state shows that those who go against the system, even if they do not violate the draconian laws adopted by the state, show trials must be done. In different regions we see that those who come out with condemnation of war, they receive not only fines, but also prison terms. According to the latest old Russian survey by the Levada Center, which is included in the register of organizations that act as a foreign agent, 75% of respondents support the war in Ukraine. This is about the same as it was at the beginning of the invasion. Reported by Roman Smoller, Natalia Belokudra, UATV News.